All right, guys, welcome back to Staying Focused. Um, first of all, you see me with my sunglasses on. That's always a good thing. That's good news because that means it's a beautiful day out. Uh, and it's actually a blue sky right now. So um, nice day. Um, we're in February here, but this is actually spring-like weather we've been having the last few days. It ends, though, tonight. We're going to get cold, rain, maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation they're saying but nothing really to um do too much damage so that's good news but um before we do anything else i am headed to get some breakfast it's my normal routine i get my fruit bowl and um it's an addiction yeah it's an addiction to a fruit bowl but i do have it every saturday morning and um what we'll do is we'll get into the amazing amazing news um you know that everybody's already you know known about with the philippines opening on the 10th um just amazing i just recently about a few minutes ago said good night to my fiance she's in the philippines so um that's what we do she sleeps i'm up and then when she's up i sleep but we do have we do have some good communication in our um together waking hours so <laughs> that's a good thing so we'll get into that but first Time for breakfast. I'm hungry. All right, guys, back here. That was just amazing. It always is. I love the fruit bowls. The place I go to is actually called Playa Bowls. Um, they're pretty much on the eastern, really on the east coast, um, with some inland as well, but more like the eastern third of the country, United States. But just amazing uh, how they make their bowls. I just love them. Um, yes, I am very full now, very satisfied. Uh, that'll do me good now, probably till dinner. Uh, I think tonight I'm going out with my one of my daughters. Um, not sure where we're gonna go yet. I'll let her make that decision. Uh, but right now I'm just headed back home and we'll see where we go from there. All right. All right, guys, welcome back here. Actually, this is a different day. This is the very next day. So yesterday, not a whole lot happening, um, and I got a little bit busy towards the end of the day, so I didn't have time to do this. So I'm going to do this now. Um, I want to get more into the um, into the whole Philippines opening up, um, what that means as far as what's needed. Uh, anybody that's in LDR, like myself, is elated um it's open and uh so what i was going to do is run through a um test uh one health pass uh registration i personally have not done it yet so i kind of want to see exactly you know how this proceeds i know with filling it out i know you can't do this until uh basically uh three days before and it won't you know from what i'm understanding it's not going to even let you do that so if you do it more than three days out um, just real quick though, and I, I'm assuming again, if you're in LDR and you're planning a trip to the Philippines, which I now am, um, I, I would think you already are aware of the things that are needed, but let's just, you know, let's go ahead and review it. Um, you have to be fully vaccinated, obviously. Um, you have to have proof of that. So again, whether that's an actual hard copy or a digital copy. I myself, I'm going to try to go ahead and get that from, and, I, and I've watched a whole bunch of videos, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that from the CDC website. If not that, from my pharmacy website, I'm understanding I can get digital copy that way as well. Uh, number two is you need a, again, this is not a special order. I just numbered them as I put them down, uh, a negative RT-PCR test. Um, this is the one that's tricky for me because um, it, I, I guess people are doing it and they're getting their results in time. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, I guess it's it's something you need to bring up right away when you're getting it done that you need this for travel. Um, so that's number two. You need the negative PCR test. Um, three is you need a valid return ticket. Again, I, I'm getting a round trip ticket back to the United States. So no issue there. That's probably one of the easier ones. Um, you need to have your passport. That's probably the easiest one, uh, but it needs to be six months valid or more. So again, if you're expiring in less than six months, get that updated. Uh, that makes us get to number five. This was the one that was added a little bit later on, and that is the travel insurance for coverage minimum $35,000. It must, must include um, 
the COVID-19 um, part of it. So again, it says here for any kind of treatment cost for the uh, COVID-19. So got to have that. And then lastly is the One Health Pass QR code. Um, once you pretty much have all the others in line and you get your test back, um, I almost said positive, negative. <laughs> it's a positive thing if it's negative. Um, then you basically fill out the um, One Health Pass, which I'm going to go into now. So I figured we try it together, see how it goes. So as they say, without further ado, let's go ahead and type in the uh, address, which is uh, www.onehealthpass.com. And I just do the dot, oh, dot ph. We're going to click OK. Now we have to put in three days or less from now as the date, because again, it can't be more than three. It won't let you do that. It'll give you an error and say, basically in a different wording, come back. So um, let's click register. That work, that's what's pertaining to us. So today is the, well, for me today is the 13th. So what we'll do is let's say we're going to leave on the 15th. All right, and it should accept us. We're going to be leaving from airport. We are not crew. We are an aircraft. Well, I am an aircraft passenger, definitely a foreign national. If you had put in a date that's further out, you would not even get this next button. It, it would basically say, you know, come back. So let's click next. And there we go. So it brings up all your information here. And again, let's just put in some information. Um, we're going to say Smith. You know what? I think it'll just take all caps. I like to just do it this way. So we're going to do Smith. Michael. Middle name. James, uh, we're going to say we are junior. Uh, let's just say our date of birth is, I'm pretty sure you can type over this. Yeah, you can. So let's say we were born in 1980. How about that? And we'll say we were born, oh, let's just say it's this month, February 1st. Uh, we move to uh, sex, we're going to say male, and civil status, we are going to say single, my nationality, and we're going to go down to, oh wait, I think we may have passed it already, hold on. American, yeah, I thought they would say American, but I didn't see it when I went through it. Uh, let's see, Phil Health number. Um, let's just say, I don't even know if that's enough numbers because I'm not really familiar with what we'd have to do there. Passport number is going to be this. Uh, uh, I thought that's what that was, so we'll just say this is our phone number. I think what um, they're looking for here is just a local number. You can either put, um, a, you know, a friend. If you have a fiance, you can put their phone number in as a contact, or you can even put the hotel you're going to. Again, this is everything I've watched so far that has uh, been accepted. So we'll go to email. We're going to go to PJ uh, Smith. Wait, what? let's stay in line with uh, our name. So we're going to put Michael. S uh, 99 at yahoo.com and you will see I am not the fastest of uh, <laughs> type. Uh, I'm not the fastest typer out there. So um, occupation sales and let's go to our uh, residence. This address will be used for your BOQ certificate. Uh, this address must be an address when you, where you will go home and continue. Okay, so that's that whole quarantine thing, which again, that's not an issue anymore. So let's just do Main Street. Um, oh, 
Now I'm jumping ahead and assuming things, and that's probably not something I should do. So Main Street, uh, Province, let's just say, I don't know, Bataan. Uh, we're just clicking things now. Lemay, uh, Barangay will be published on. Uh, let's see here. Territory uh, Port of Exit. So that's where we're actually leaving out of. So we're going to go ahead and do, um, well, I guess they're going to say United States now instead of America. <laughs> let's go to United States, Q-R-S-T-U, and that is right there. So we do that. Uh, the airport would be of our arrival. Uh, let's say, ah, we'll go to Cebu. Uh, airline name, that's going to be, how about Emirates? Our flight number is that one. We're not gonna do anything there. Uh, date of departure. Now, again, remember we said we're going to be leaving on the, oh my goodness, what did we say? The 15th. So we'll say that. Date of arrival. Let's just keep it for that for now. That would be great if you could get there on the same day. Um, for foreign national tourist. We'll just say tourist, uh, tourism. Address abroad. Let's go to Silly Street. <laughs> you see, I'm telling you, I cannot type. Let's try that again. <laughs> Silly Street. All right. Uh, have you been vaccinated? Absolutely. First dose, yes. The date we were done on the first um, dose, let's just say October 1st. Second, oh, they want us to tell them more. Uh, name of the vaccine. Uh, let's say, we'll go with Pfizer. Uh, the country we're vaccinated are going to go back to United States. You know what, why am I doing that? Let's just type in U, let's see if that, let's just jump right to it. There we go. Uh, second dose, yes. And we'll say that was three weeks later, so that would be the 22nd of October. Name of vaccine, stayed with the uh, Pfizer. Country we're vaccinated, that's gonna be the same, United States. All right, guys, and let's see, we're just almost there from what I understand, there's not too much more here. Upload your car, so here's where you're gonna go ahead and upload um, the vaccination card so you have a copy of the um, on your phone uh, uh, as part of all going into this uh, One Health Pass. So we're not going to just read through that when you put it in. Do you have a um, your test? So obviously you have to have that. So you put yes, and then you're going to put the result information here, the swab date. Again, that's got to be 48 hours. Let's just hope that goes smooth for everybody. Uh, let's see, countries traveled in, again, now here's your, they're going to give you four choices here as to the countries you have traveled. So this, from what I understand now, this is going to be including any layovers on your trip over there. So let's say, for example, you're going to go um, travel and it's going to be going, let's say, to Germany and then to Singapore and, and basically just put all that stuff in there, even though you're not leaving the airport, you're more or less staying you know, without going through any kind of immigration. Um, so that's where that will go. Uh, and that's all about uh, exposure history, history of exposure to known probable and or confirmed uh, COVID-19 tests. Hopefully that's just a no. Um, if there's anything more to it, you're gonna have to get probably more ex you know, explanation on it. Um, do you have comorbidities? 
we're going to say no for that. I actually don't. But um, if you have any of these, diabetes, um, you know, hypertension, maybe somebody has that, just put that in there. Again, it, from what I understand, it's not going to do any kind of effect to you as far as getting approved with this. It's just going to let them know you do have that. Um, and then anything that's not there that you do have, um, put it in here or you're going to type it out. Um, I guess you just read through all this, this junk here. And um, this is the CAPTCHA. So you're just going to type in what you see, 6F9RC8. Like I said, I'm not going any, any further. And this is it. You click Submit, and you're good to go. That's basically your, um, that is your One Health Pass. So that, along with the other things that I mentioned, you got yourself on the plane, and yet you're, you're going to get yourself into the Philippines, and hopefully with a very big smile uh, to see whoever you're seeing, your girlfriend, your fiance, whoever that might be. Um, this is just wonderful. And I know everybody's had um, a whole different experience with this um, shutdown. And um, some people have gone a year, year and a half, two years. I consider myself blessed in that I've only had to, and again, I speak for my fiance as well. We've uh, not quite gotten to four months yet since we've met. Um, it feels like more because my feelings for her is just so amazing. I just fell in love with her pretty quickly. She's just amazing. And um, I definitely, I definitely can't wait to, like I keep telling her, literally put my arms around her. Um, we do it on an app now, or we do it on our video calls. And um, that's fantastic, yes, but nothing's going to be, I just can't imagine nothing's going to be the feeling of our first meet physically. So I guess I'm going to call it a video for now. Uh, call it a wrap on this. Um, a whole lot more to come. Um, on my trip, I will for sure um, be recording and we'll put all that together. I've already, I already have things, steps leading up to that. Um, like I said, I'm, we're engaged, so that's awesome. So I have, I'll have all that into what I'm going to call like our our love story. <laughs> but um, that's it, guys. Um, if you guys have anything to add onto this, please do. It'll be very inter interesting to see how the months go, like March, April, May. Will this all stay the same? Will there be more? Will there be less? Fingers crossed that there's going to be less. Who knows? Um, I have positive. I'm a very positive thinker. I think positively. And um, I try to look at, you know, the positive side of things. And this is no doubt, obviously, huge. And um, let's just hope things are going to get smoother and smoother. And maybe they'll drop a few things here and there. Hopefully this thing will go into the toilet, meaning the, uh, the whole pandemic thing. Let's hope. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Um, click that like. It's, it helps so much. Um, subscribe. Um, things like this you can share, obviously share it around. This is something huge. I know other people have this out there, but it doesn't hurt to, to just as many people to get it out there and get the information out there. So um, good luck to everybody in your travels. And until next time, oh, please stay focused. Stay focused. Again, we all have been staying focused and this day is going to come where we're going to meet our, our partner. So um, stay focused and uh, I hope you all stay healthy as well. Take care. Bye.